everyone, Katarina here again with another video and layout for HipKit Club. Um, today I'm going to be focusing on the main kit only together with the beautiful cardstock kit and I'm going to be using the January kit today. So my assignment today was to use the beautiful uh, exclusive patterned papers from the kits and since uh, these whole kits are purely exclusive, uh, designed by Kim and Kimberly, it was really, really a pleasure to work with these beautiful papers. So here you can see me um, cutting rectangles out of these papers. For my background, I decided to use the uh, pretty um, soft yellow paper from the or the cardstock from the cardstock kit uh, because I think that it contrasts so beautifully with, with all the colors from from all the patterned papers this month. So my plan was to create uh, tags out of these patterned paper uh, rectangles. And I'm going to cut these uh, tags um, apart so that they are divided into both sides of my layout and you will see it in, see it in, in just a bit. Um, I wanted to give them uh, the, the whole reinforcer. <laughs> so I used the, the same patterned papers, just uh, mixed them. A little bit to create a nice little contrast contrasting element on them and then I used my um, crocodile tool to punch holes I'm sorry my camera was off focus here for for some reason and the next next thing I'm gonna do is that I really loved um, these uh, cut apart or these these elements that can be fussy cut here on these um, patterned papers and I decided to uh, find uh, all all the ones that are present on the on the tags I fussy cut them out from the rest of the patterned paper and uh, glue it or, or put it on a, on a foam tape or craft foam raise it a little bit and create some dimension. So you can see that I also used uh, my sewing machine to stitch around the tags and then I cut them, or maybe before that, I cut, I cut them and arranged them from both sides of my layout. So here I have my fussy cut uh, speech bubbles. By the way, this patterned paper is one of my favorites. <laughs> I just love those speech bubbles so much. And I'm going to arrange them to uh, where where they are originally on the on the tag, and use some uh, foam squares to to raise them a little bit. And I did the same with the with the dots from the dot, dotted paper, and with the little tiny flowers too. So. That was the most tedious part, <laughs> to be honest. But I love the, I love the result, really. So you will see it in a moment. I will show you up close. So here are the speech bubbles, the dots, and the flowers. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I really love it. And here I continued with uh, some crazy machine stitching. I used a dark gray thread to stitch. I wanted to create some space uh, or background for my photos. And here I used a white acrylic paint to, to make some tiny splatters. And here I mixed it also with the uh, precious posy. Um, purple shimmer stains uh, to, to splatter to, to add some more splatters in, in purple color 
I also added um, soft yellow cord or thread into to my tags and yeah it was the, the color was matching really well with the background cardstock and then I used my t-square ruler to uh, adhere uh, the tags so I have them straight and this is going to be the, the basic part of my layout I did the same with all the all the fur tags Today I'm scrapping two photos of my son uh, when he got really, really creative. Uh, he saw me hand stitching into one of my layouts and he asked me for a needle and he wanted to also create his own stitched uh, layout. He even got a photo from me, so uh, it was really nice uh, watching him do that. And also he uh, painted some mixed media background <laughs> so uh, here I'm trying to arrange all the elements I uh, used the purple uh, alphabet stickers from the kit to create my title uh, things will change a little bit in a, in a minute uh, you will see that as I go but for, for this moment uh, this was the arrangement I was going for. I used a lot of the beautiful chipboard stickers, uh, a lot of uh, little hearts, a paper clip. I love that um, cardstock on die cut rainbow with those hanging hearts. That's really cute. And I kept adding and adding. I also used uh, one of the Wood veneer phrases and uh, yeah of course these puffy buttons they are they are really really cute addition to any layout because they're small and add all those pops of color yeah and also those little hearts there so I shuffled uh, the embellishments a little bit I play with them and um, then I took a break and you see that I have changed um, the, the arrangement of things a little bit. I used that uh, gray polka dotted paper to uh, draw and cut um, the second part of my title. I decided it to, to change it to crafty kit and uh, since I didn't have a smaller uh, alphabet I created my own letters there. I popped up my photos with the craft foam as you can see here. I have also used a lot of the the inside pieces from the from the putty, uh, puffy buttons. They are very <laughs> cool actually. They can be used as a uh, small something like enamel dots like puffy dots maybe adding all the pops of color too and here I'm basically adhering everything so here are the smaller letters that I uh, cut out and this rainbow will go on the right side of my photos I'm just playing with uh, how to I wanted to hide the word new because uh, this was not really new to him he's crafty all the time so I use this um, die cut flower to hide it and it will just say hobbies crafty hobbies or yeah how you want to read it love it so now I'm going to move on the journaling and drawing some lines it wasn't easy with all the um, dimensional elements on the layout and I'm using uh, dark 
grey pen to write my journaling here. Yeah, and that's gonna be it for today. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked uh, the layout and the video. Uh, don't forget to check out the Hip Kid Club website for, for all the kids. Uh, they're really gorgeous, beautiful. You need them all. <laughs> I will leave the link down in the description box. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!